reminder before we get started, uh, please raise your hand when you have a question. We'll bring the microphone to you so that uh, those folks uh, watching at home uh, can hear the questions. But with that, we'll open up uh, for questions here for Chase Garbers or Kakoa Crawford. Keiko. Sorry. Chase, can you just talk about the fairly slow start you guys got off to and what it took to sort of withstand that? Yeah, I mean, I think early on in the game, you know, the fumble off the opening uh, kickoff was definitely a momentum swing for them, putting them in our in our red zone. So I think that attributed to it. And I think also, I think offensively, we just came out too loose. You know, I think we were kind of lackadaisical to start in a way. So I think just getting that first game out of us and, you know, we regrouped, came back in the second quarter in the second half and did what we do. So I think just getting that looseness out. Chase, you guys only had eight, eight uh, passes of 30 or more yards last season, and you had three tonight. Uh, what changed in the offseason to make you guys more explosive? Well, the wide receiver uh, group changed, obviously. Uh, new additions, which were big for us. And I think just after last season, just putting more focus on pushing the ball downfield, I think we were so conservative as an offense last year, you know, with our defense trying not to mess up for them. But now I think – you know, coming off spring ball, fall camp, and now game one, I think pushing the ball downfield is more of an emphasis for us and will be uh, later on in the year. Chase, having a guy like Christopher doing what he did today, really kind of just grinding all day, mm -hmm. how did that help you guys kind of settle down as an offense? And, and how much of a surprise is that for you to see him do that all game long consistently? Honestly, it wasn't too, too much of a surprise because we see it every day in practice, you know, CB going to town on defenses. So... I mean, clearly to be a good offense in the nation, you have to run the ball well. And I think that's what we kind of pride ourselves on, uh, just, you know, punishing the defense and running the ball uh, with execution. Uh, Kakoa, beyond just your performance, uh, what was it like making your Cal debut today this afternoon? Uh, I mean, it was just a blessing to be back out there. It's been like two some years, so it just felt good to get out there with the group of guys and, you know, show what I could do. What did you guys both see on that first touchdown pass? Um, so on the first one, <laughs> it was a play action, uh, deep cross concept. And normally our game plan was they brought the corner on a blitz. So our game plan was actually to check off the route. But Ko and I were on the uh, same page where, you know, the safety was plussed over, making that cutoff, you know, not so well. So he kept the route on. and. He lost him in coverage. And, you know, we protected it well up front. What he said. <laughs> uh, what are the second TD, uh, looked like the DB got a hand on it. What, uh, what happened on that uh, play? And uh, did you were able to concentrate on it the whole way? Uh, I mean, yeah. I just seen him tip it, and it coming right to me. So just try to make a play. Cole made a great play. <laughs> Did you see that DB uh, before you threw? Yeah, I mean, I got flushed out of the pocket. Just had to put a little more air on it, kind of underthrew it. But, you know, I know my guy Cole is going to come down with it no matter what. So he made that play. Uh, when you guys go down 10-0 early, how do you guys keep you know, your concentration on just executing instead of having to up your sense of urgency, per se? Yeah, I mean, we went down 10-0, but we just treated it play by play. I mean, you're not going to win every play. So I think just with that mindset, and we go against our defense every day in practice, and, you know, they've gotten on us a couple times. So I think just having that mindset that next play, next play, next play, and just kind of holding true to ourselves. Chase, how well does this game prepare you for next week when you got to play, you know, probably a different level opponent in Washington? Uh, we got a lot of stuff to clean up offensively. You know, we had penalties, uh, three turnovers total, with two on offense and then the special teams. So just a lot of stuff to clean up. Game one, you know, trying to get it out of the way almost. But, you know, come back on Monday and just clean up everything we need to clean up. You guys all good? 
don't mean to keep dwelling on the negative, but uh, what happened on the fumble? Uh, did, were you trying to get it roll out there? What happened? Yeah, so uh, you know, they, they did a pretty good job up front, you know, uh, getting pressure. And I tried to scramble out to the right, and guy just came from <clears throat> the left side. Pretty did a pretty good job chopping the ball out. And I mean, that'll happen eventually. I mean, you can't always be perfect. Chase, talk, can you talk about the offensive line in general, though? Because it seemed like you had time to throw a lot, and they certainly uh, opened some holes for Christopher. Yeah, I think the offensive line did a great job today. Uh, Obviously, in the run game, I think that was one of their goals uh, for last night to rush over 200 yards. So we accomplished that. And um, in pass protection, I mean, they gave me all day. I could have been back there for eight seconds if I really wanted to. And, you know, that's awesome to see, especially as a quarterback and I think for Coach Baldwin and Coach Greatwood. You guys all good? Okay, thanks. We'll have, uh, Coach Wilcox in next.